Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big JTV, man. You know what I mean? Like, comment, subscribe. I see a lot of y'all who watch my videos. You guys do not subscribe, man. Smash that subscribe button, man. And if that's too much for you, at least hit that like button. And uh, if you really want to keep in touch and catch what I'm doing, man, that notification bell, smash that as well. You know what I mean? That was bars. Let's talk about it. Let's really, really talk about it, man. There is... This is a topic I haven't really covered much, but, you know, I've been inspired to. I've been inspired to for the past two days for the simple fact that the red pill community and the red pill in general is some of the most disgusting, stupidest movement that's ever happened to men, masculinity in general. And I'm bringing it up for one simple reason. I'm bringing it up because one of the new popular red pill guys... His name is David Cooley. Okay. Who is David Cooley? David Cooley is the host and the owner of the No Fugazi podcast. Right. And if you don't know who he is, salute to you. But he's been going viral because he's a hypocrite and a liar. And yes, look at the title. He's worse than Myron Gaines. Worse than I know. I know. You, y'all don't think it's possible, but it is way worse than Myron Gaines. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a TikTok from a user called uh, Benny Ray, right? Where he explains the hypocrisy of this bozo. All right. So watch the video and then I'm going to do commentary on the back end. Let's go. Fellas, this is why I tell you, y'all got to be careful about where y'all get y'all relationships slash life advice from, from these guys on this fucking internet, on these podcasts and shit. Because they, yesterday I made a video about that Fugazi Cooley dude or whatever talking about being a top tier man. And I always kind of knew dude was a little buddy. But um, yeah, so here's the clip and then I'll show you why. Don't qualify for the top tier men and that is the truth. Can you qualify? believe you're a top tier man? By what standard? I'm six foot four, only about what? 8% of the entire world is six foot four. I make well over 100, 100K a year. And I'm black at that if you add that on. That's why he said that. That's why That's why he talked the way he talked. That's why. That's why he thinks he's a top-tier man because he's 6'4". And black. This is why. He's the trinket. He's the fetish. But this is the dude that y'all follow, fellas. This is, the, this is the rhetoric that y'all subscribe to from hypocrites. A man, a black man playing stepdaddy to some white kids with a single mother who was a BBL Becky. Mind you, getting her knocked up because she's currently pregnant, not even married to her. They've been together since 2017 and has yet to put a ring on her finger. When you've been waiting for it, I think everything is a proposal. And darling, this is more than anything. So Christmas is around the corner, and since we got a little mixed baby here, uh, we're going to see which Santa he chooses. We got a black Santa. And I have the white one. And uh, let's see which one he chooses. Same time, don't cheat. Okay. One, two, three. Which one are you going to pick? Like all the boxes were checked. Cringy interracial uh, couple content. Uh, pro she's begging to be proposed to. She's a single mother. All of these things that he tells you in clips like this. As a single mother, do you believe you deserve a man in the top percentile? I'm able to do everything else, whether or not I have a, a baby or not. I still can be a great wife. Yeah, yeah listen, feel. single moms, recreational use only. <laughs> do you mean, do you mean like, like... Time out. Let's reverse it real quick. What? Looks like you're doing more than recreational use with her, buddy. <laughs> or maybe you're not, because... Um, you still ain't married her, but you're giving her those mixed kids that she enjoys to make content with, though, right? So, like, most of these podcasts, I keep telling y'all, a lot of these podcast guys that are the loudest about women are out here living double lives and making bank off of y'all. They're doing the same thing that these podcasts and pink pill women do to other women. They're doing to y'all. And I say this all the fucking time. These podcast guys are never married. They're never in successful relationships. And they're usually buddy boys. But these are the guys y'all subscribe to. These are the guys that y'all are in my comments arguing with me about defending 
and, and, and telling me that I'm simping for women. But instead of listening to fellas like myself who are actually married in real life and trying to tell y'all how to find them, y'all would rather listen to guys like him because it reassures the echo chamber that you want to be in. Y'all would rather sit and point and blame women all fucking day for why you can't find a wife. But everybody's an alpha man, a good man, and a top tier man, though. Yet can't none of y'all get together and find no fucking woman. But when married men like myself get to talking about what y'all need to do, you tell me to shut the fuck up because, well, you married, bro. Why you worried about another man? So y'all don't want to hear what I got to say. Boom, 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 boom. Easy like that, man. Long video, long TikTok, but it's the facts. You know what I mean? These idiots, right? And you know what? At this point, I don't even consider him an idiot. He saw a market. And what is the market? Lonely loser men who are hateful, who have no <laughs> guidance, no leadership, nothing in them to think objectively, who want to blame society and more specifically women for their own failures, right? Want to have a proxy, man. They want to have somebody who represents them. They want to have an avatar, y'all. And Miss David Cooley, as corny as he is, as much of a hypocrite as he is, as much of a lame that he is, he's what they want to represent them. He is their champion. You know what I mean? And I saw this coming. I saw this coming a mile away. Look, I was a fan of Kevin Samuels. Still am. Because Kevin Samuels' message apart from the roasting of, you know, women and, 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 you know, the funny, hilarious clips, was for men to be better. You know what I mean? Was to have men and women together. So when he went in on delusional women, you know what I mean? There was a kind of a guiding purpose to it. And within that purpose, he was getting paid from it. Now, these knockoff, you know what I mean, loser, lame, disrespectful, grifters came after him trying to emulate what he was doing in order to get a bag and unfortunately what's happening now is the individuals like the no fugazi podcast who are actually fugazi are going to make a ton of money off this all right and guess who loses in the in the long run obviously men and then even longer than that the women and even longer than that society so me, when I was going off on these red pill losers like Myron Gaze, like Fresh and Fit and all these guys, there was a purpose to counteract the effery. You feel me? Are they bad women? Absolutely. Are they bad men? Absolutely. But when you try to narrow that and focus so much on that in order to build narratives and make money off losers, you are literally the devil. You're the devil, man. You're a false prophet. You're disgusting. And you're a vermin onto this world, man. We should bring back the firing squad. Big JTV, get in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out.